Hello everyone and welcome back to Coffee in the Book Nook. This is my YouTube channel where I give a three minute review of my favorite books. I also share what coffee I'm drinking while reading. If you like the content, please give a thumbs up and share this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Once again, welcome back to Coffee in the Book Nook. Today is February 17th. It is Black History Month, and I will be reading Day 17 of 28 Days, Moments in Black History That Changed the World. Day 17. May 26, 1956. Anthea Gibson becomes first black woman to win a tennis title. August 25th, 1968. Arthur Ashe becomes first black man to win a tennis title. Athea Gibson, Arthur Ashe, champions in tennis, champions with class. Athea raised in Harlem, NYC, first became a paddle tennis prodigy. Arthur, born in Richmond, VA, was six when tennis called him to play. Athea progressed from paddle to racket and learned to chase the ball and smack it. Arthur progressed on the court fast and hit the books hard, becoming first in his class. Athea and Arthur soon began to win, not once, not twice, but again and again. But Athea and Arthur were shut out of play with white players in big tournaments until one fine day. The stage, the French Open, where Athea became the first black champion in the pro tennis game. 12 years later, Arthur held in his hand the U.S. Open trophy as best in the land. Like Jackie Robinson before, Athea Gibson and Arthur Ashe erased the color line with hard work and class. Athea Gibson was born in South Carolina on August 25, 1927, but moved to New York when she was three. She took up tennis at the age of 14 and would eventually go on to also win Wilmington twice and the U.S. Open twice, earning her a total of five Grand Slam major tennis titles. Arthur Ashe was born July 10, 1943 in Richmond, Virginia. He was valedictorian in high school and turned pro at age of 26. In addition to winning the U.S. Open, he went on to win Wimbledon and would go on to become the first black tennis player to be ranked number one in the world. I hope you enjoyed this Day 17 reading featuring Athea Gibson and Arthur Ashe and join me tomorrow for the Little Rock Nine. If you enjoyed the reading, please leave a comment below. And remember, if we want to live longer and happier lives, that begins with knowledge. Once again, if you like the content, please give a thumbs up and share this channel with family and friends. Also, help me grow my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.